Hey everybody, my name is AJ and welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network where I love to infuse spirituality and practicality for the masses. Today's, for today's topic, we're gonna be discussing um, why your manifestation isn't here yet, okay? You're probably wondering, I've put in all the work, I've done every technique that, you know, was suggested to me by this YouTuber, by that YouTuber, by this book, by that book, and it's still not here, why? So this video is going to answer that question for you. So if you are interested in topics like spirituality, like law of attraction, like manifestation, shoot, even if you just need advice, uh subscribe to this channel you know and uh share this video if it helped you in any way okay so let's begin today's topic so you're wondering why isn't my manifestation here i've done everything i possibly could to attract the thing in question that i want but it isn't here yet why isn't it two reasons for why your manifestation isn't here yet okay so number one is that you are giving your manifestation heightened importance, right? So what heightened importance means is that you are in essence putting your manifestation on a pedestal, okay? You are making it out, and sorry if I'm kind of glancing up and down, I've taken notes for this video. So you're kind of making it out your manifestation that is as if it's this far reaching you know thing that you can never obtain by putting it on a pedestal by kind of like you know making it feel like it's so out of reach from you right so as an example of this wanting the desire in question so bad that you think about it every day incessantly you think about it every day every night all day every day right and um maybe certain thoughts have crossed your mind to the point where it's kind of like if I don't receive blank then I'm going to be devastated or how am I going to go on if I don't receive this that and the third that which I've manifested right so that's kind of an example of you putting what you want your desire in question that manifestation on a pedestal and you're kind of like propping it up so where naturally is going to feel far reaching or that you know it's going to take forever to you know materialize or it will never materialize right so like i said by doing this you're unconsciously creating resistance from you and the subject of your desire right so let's let's beg the question how do i remedy this how do i stop doing this so i can actually manifest that in which i want so i would say you have to let it go right and when i say let go i mean stop thinking about it every at every moment stop thinking about it stop checking your email to see if that you know client came in if that's what you're manifesting stop uh you know checking your bank account to see if that money came in if that's what you're manifesting let it go know that you have literally put in your order to the universe to god to source whoever you deem that is the higher force you know revolving all this and you have to have faith enough that what it is that you have put out into the universe your desire is going to be met but also you have to meet that desire halfway and letting go is of key significance to doing that right because ironically enough when we hold on to something so tightly we actually repel uh, we repel we repel it think about it like this if you've ever liked a person right if you've ever liked someone romantically and you are incessantly thinking about him or her all day every day and you kind of put them on this pedestal it's like they don't even notice you they don't even see you and then once you kind of let go or you move on to somebody else or you kind of start liking somebody else then that person boom automatically starts appearing they start talking to you they start wanting to engage with you more so that is a prime example of how when you let something go if it's yours if it's for you it's always going to come back to you and it's it's going to be yours okay and if it's in your heart to desire nine times out of ten it's for you okay yeah the second reason why your manifestation or that desire in question has not 
reached you yet is because you have put in a huge request right you have put in this grand request now i'm not saying that or in saying this i am not trying to convey that it's never going to come to you that's not what i'm saying at all but you have to realize that how the mind works is that once we think about something once we kind of put it out there there is a time delay and it to me that's kind of like allowing us to make sure that that's actually what we want right and if we're persistent if we meet the universe if we meet god if we meet source if we meet spirit halfway by doing the work making sure that you know we're keeping the faith and knowing it's going to come right making sure that we're doing this we are you know we're solidifying that yes we still want it and it's going to take some time because of that time delay. It's going to take some time for us to get it. The bigger the manifestation, perhaps the longer time it could take. It really all just depends on your vibrational resonance with that said manifestation. Let's say, for example, you want to manifest $10 million, right? You have to be honest with yourself as to where you are vibrationally and where that $10 million is vibrationally. If you literally have negative thousand dollars in your bank account, you don't have no business, you don't have any way of like, even an inkling of a way of like resonating, resonating with that $10 million, it's gonna take you longer to get to that money to that desire, to that goal, to that manifestation as to say, let's say you just wanted a hundred dollars. Okay. You could probably manifest that hundred dollars overnight because your vibration, your frequency is more aligned to uh, attracting that hundred dollars very quickly to you because you know, without a shadow of a doubt, oh yeah, I could get that hundred. That's nothing. You know, without a shadow of a doubt that that hundred dollars is just there waiting for you. You easy you know what to do how to do and when to do to get that hundred dollars now that 10 million it might take you you know some time it might take you some alignment and some adjustment right so that's just a mere example of like how the bigger your desire the bigger your manifestation and when i say the bigger manifestation that means in alignment to you and how you you know that scale or that barometer of how you think it's big because to like like let's say jay-z somebody like jay-z probably can manifest 10 million 10 million dollars within a day because he's a billionaire and that 10 million dollars might not hold the same weight as it will hold for a regular person like you and i you know so in essence to recap the first reason why your manifestation has not come to you yet is because you are placing it on a pedestal you are giving it heightened importance right so you're creating resistance because you are putting something above you and saying this is so far reaching that i may not be able to obtain this or it's going to take me forever for it to come or i got to do this that a, B, C, and D to get that. When in actuality, all you have to do is align your frequencies and your vibration and kind of let it go. Just kind of go with the flow, right? And then number two is that you have ordered something very big from the universe and you have to have faith and trust that what you have ordered is coming, okay? Like I always say, and I think I'm a this is going to be like my tagline it's not of the matter of if your manifestation is coming it's when okay so i love you guys so much thank you for tuning in i'm at a new spot sorry the light is like it's bomb actually i love the lighting but it's kind of it's interesting but um love you guys so much please like share and subscribe um i also do personal readings personal tarot readings so if you're interested please go on my website my website will be listed down below in the description link as well as my Instagram and you can go on my website and fill out your in, uh, an inquiry page and I will send you a link uh, for the next steps for those readings. OK, I love you guys very much. Please take care. And as an added bonus, just if you watch this to the end. There's a three step process in manifestation. It's ask, you know 
let it go and receive, right? So when you're asking the universe for something, you're basically putting your desire and question out there. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for giving me this uh, $10,000 month in my business, okay? Let's say that's, a, that's the ask, right? And then so now you let that go and you consistently but effortlessly and with ease work towards that goal okay you gotta meet source you gotta meet spirit halfway right so you work towards that goal so that's basically letting it go you let it kind of play out in the background while all the while that silent murmur knowing it's already here i got it just keep working what would you do if you you know already have the ten thousand dollars you would be working you would work more and more to reach another goal so that's the receive. I mean, that's the that's the um, letting go portion, right? You know, all the while in the back of your head, it's coming, it's coming, it's here, right? And then receiving is that you being open to signs, synchronicities that's telling you that it's literally around the corner, it's on the way. Whether that being uh, that could be a brother or sister asking you to drop off something and then them giving you like some extra money for gas and you don't even need it that could be your mom just putting a hundred dollars in your bank account just because she did or somebody paying you back uh some money that they owed you in the in uh the past and you didn't even think they were ever going to pay you back be open be open to receiving okay and know without a shadow of a doubt that what you've asked for is on its way but okay guys i love you so much please like share and subscribe share with loved ones friends family whoever will get maximum benefit from these lessons from these teachings from these understandings okay i love you take care bye bye